good morning, guys. I look at the mess, but I'm pulling myself together today. Your girl got stuff to do. I'm gonna get some stuff done. No, ma'am. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I'm watching you. My God. Kids get into everything. Everything, mama. They get into everything. Like, if y'all ever seen Roscoe Jenkins, that's what I was Now, this everything, mama. They get into everything. Like, stuff that you would think, oh, no big deal. They can't make too much of a mess with that. Girl, please. They get into everything. Everything be a mess for them. She's down here. I'm about to get up and get my day going. I'm waiting for these people to email me to let me know about work today. The class is 58 is coming up and I'm actually going. So I'm sure a lot of y'all don't know what class 68 is, but it's um it's just like going to like a reunion but for the class of 68 i'm not in the class of 68 but um i always like hear stories that it's like fun and you know it's fun something fun to do so i'm excited about that after thanksgiving this year we are going to this bahamian fest bahamian food fest so Look, mama. We having a little baby move on. You ready to get a bath and get some clothes on, get your hair done? Look at her. She'd be so happy to see us. <laughs> uh, what's up, y'all? <laughs> what? It's good. Get it. Get it, get it, get it. Get it, 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 get it to get it. Get it, 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 get it to the get it. That's just that on that, period, okay? I'm gonna put her in the tub. Start getting some stuff together. Empress, why must you? Like, why? Parquet.
I wanted to talk to y'all about something before I speed this up. It's currently 1.21 a.m. I always wait till Empress is asleep to do stuff like this because if not, I'm not gonna get nothing done. <sighs> okay. So I've seen this article on this little girl that basically she was, um, I think some y'all in somewhere. Yeah. Basically, she was, she was sexually, um, she was molested and just a lot of bad things happened to her. Um, and it wasn't the first time it happened, but this time she had been beaten and like, it was like heinous sexual crimes and she died, three year old little girl. Sorry, that's the water just dripping some extra juice out. And it happened by the mom and her stepdad. And y'all, I wasn't gonna even bring this up on YouTube because I was like, nah, that happened on my Facebook. Like, it's negative and I don't wanna bring it up. And I am super protective over Empress, like, extremely the only people i trust with my daughter is the people that i know would not hurt me which is you know what i'm saying that's a little bit of people a little bit of people very little i ain't gonna name who they are but a little bit of people period but it really that situation just really made me know and understand that i am not doing the wrong thing by being protective over Empress, um, you know what I'm saying? Not trusting people with her, you know, it, it, it just definitely made me understand that I'm not doing the wrong thing. Just simply stuff like that. It's like, and they're like, oh, well, it's the mom's fault, you know, but it's called, although I do think it was her fault because they said she was there. Like when some of these things happened to this baby girl, she was there so yeah she's a sicko herself but it's like what about the people who fall in love again after a relationship that ended with a child and they think they know this person and this person would never and then boom something like that happened you know and it just goes back to my saying of you never really know people like people show you what they want to show you there are things about people in your life that you're never gonna know about them um and they're never gonna share it especially if it's something sick if it's something dark if it's something that they feel they can be judged on they're never gonna share it you know it's just things that you're not gonna ever know about a person and it's like do i really want to experience that when i got a child involved do i really want to you know what i'm saying go through all that and the reality of it is I don't you know I don't want to go through all that I feel like I should do these bigger I don't want to experience that so I had already you know once the situation ended with me and Princess Dad I had already kind of told myself that I you know in my heart I know I would never allow myself to go to another level with nobody because I got Empress you know like I just don't want to be, number one, nobody deserves to be like in a relationship that's kind of panicky. Like any little, if I feel like something is going on, even if I'm wrong, I'm like, I'm done. You know, nobody deserves that. So, you know, just thinking, you know, like this little baby is innocent. Like, ain't got nothing, didn't ask to be here, ain't got nothing to do with nothing. And it's just, it's really disgusting. It's really disgusting. It's unbelievable that that's what's going on on Earth. That's another reason why I'm like working so hard to just ensure that I can work from home. I don't care what it is. YouTube, my education, I don't care. I just know for sure that I need to be able to work from home. I need to be able to be there for my kid. If somebody, if something happened during the day, 
I don't want to have to be called no boss. I'm like, I got to go because I'm the type of mama that I ain't gonna, I'm gone. <laughs> you telling me my kid's in trouble? Peace. this vlog don't forget to comment and subscribe i'm gonna see y'all in the next video i love y'all kin folk peace you remember the flame all right forget what i told you forget all about that tonight just remember the flame you remember the flame all right